Tuesday's trade deadline came and went, and Brian Burns stayed here in Carolina. The team reportedly turning down an offer of two first-round picks for the young, talented edge rusher. Burns indicating he wasn't too concerned with what might happen on Tuesday at the deadline, but there was a sense of relief when he wasn't dealt. Yeah, yeah, for sure, because, you know, I want to stay with my guys. I love Charlotte. Um, it will break my heart to leave my, my defense, you know what I mean? Like, we've been so close, and uh, I feel like we got something special on defense for sure. And, um, yeah, so. I think it says that um, they see a lot of, well, I would, I would say potential, but I would also say that we, we've done a lot of things together, and um, this is a strong core, and that they believe in this core for the future. Um, so I would definitely say that they believe in us, and they want to keep us together because we done, did some great, some great things and some good things together. Now the Panthers will try and sign Burns to a long-term deal, and market price just increased. Miami giving pass rusher Bradley Chubb an extension this week worth about $23 million a year. Burns is younger than Chubb and has been more productive the last few seasons, so the Panthers will likely have to produce even more money than that. But considering what Carolina didn't pay for Burns, it sounds like that's a price they're willing to pay. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm Nick Carboni.